What up, guys? It's Dan the Man, a.k.a. Daniel Sun, and we're going to be talking about Marvel's Phase 2. Now you're, like, wondering, Marvel Phase 2? You know, like, Age of Ultron or Ant-Man? No, I'm talking about the television universe, and there is a lot of things uh, in work by, and, you know, the guys from Heroic Hollywood are stating that we might get a couple of big names in television form at Netflix. Now, we already had Daredevil that killed it in season one. Season two is confirmed. And also, Jessica Jones, I believe that's what it's called, coming out later on this year. You have also the Defenders. You just, you have a lot of things in work. But uh, over there at Heroic Hollywood, they're saying that uh, Marvel is just has big plans for the TV's universe, even though. Kevin Feige is really against it. Come on, Kevin. I mean, you are the mastermind of this whole Marvel movie universe, but looking down upon television, that's just a big no-no. I mean, what you, you're also looking down on great TV shows. They don't even have to be live. They could be animated, like Batman the Anime Series, Spider-Man the Anime Series, X-Men the Anime Series. You're looking down on those shows. Those are cartoon, but still, I mean, Daredevil has kicked ass. I think I enjoy Daredevil, and that's a TV show more than Age of Ultron. Even though I had a lot of fun with Age of Ultron, just Daredevil just seemed like the better written, you know, out of the two. Now, and characters. No, no, maybe not characters wise, but better written. Uh, but this phase two also is like saying the people want they Marvel wants Cumberbatch. They want Benedict Cumberbatch to make guest appearances as Doctor Strange in one of their series regular or Daredevil, not Daredevil. I believe it was uh, Jessica Jones. Maybe I forgot one of those one of those shows. Uh, but they do want him involved in a cinematic universe. And also, Daredevil Season 2 might be bringing in a big bad villain. And everybody's fan or fan favorite, everybody's favorite for the Daredevil, Daredevil's comic run, Bullseye. And who might play Bullseye? Jason Statham. And I think Jason Statham, this would be a way perfect villainous role in Netflix as Bullseye. Then probably his take in Furious 7. Because he was really like the Terminator. He's in and out. And he didn't really bring too much to uh, that series if you think about it. But him as Bullseye in the next Daredevil in Daredevil Season 2 maybe. Or just in a Daredevil universe or Marvel universe. I'm all for it. I think Jason Statham's a badass. And I could see him as Bullseye. So, you know, Colin Farrell portrayed Bullseye in um, Daredevil the motion picture. But, of course, you know, they want to get another ball, you know, get another Baldy in there. Let's get Jason Statham. He is, he has that English accent, but I think Jason Statham would bring something to the table in that character. Or he might just play Jason Statham. Who knows? I, I do like the idea of him playing Bullseye. So, let's get right down to it. What are they thinking about, you know, also making a TV show for this Phase 2? I already said it. You know what I'm going to say. You know I'm a big fan. The Punisher. Frank Castle, he fits the format, he fits crossing over with Daredevil, especially Daredevil, you know, being a lawyer that he is, and <laughs> Frank Castle just straight out killing people because he has his own line of justice. Uh, I think Punisher, of course, it needs to happen. I think you need to do the Punisher right, you need to do right by him. The films didn't work, why not try to dabble on a TV series? But then we also have Ghost Rider, and Ghost Rider has been shitted on by Nicolas Cage and the movie, you know, those last two movies are just terrible. I would love to see Daredevil, but it, it is interesting that they want him in a TV format. But how, however, just like, how's that CGI going to look? You know, how's it going to look with Ghost Rider on there? Are we going to get a lot of Ghost Rider or not? You know, are we just going to get the man? Uh, it could work, but I think Ghost Rider, maybe, you know, I would like to see him team up with, you know, a Dark Avengers type deal. But, however, I, I don't know how the TV would work for Ghost Rider. Then you have Blade. And Blade had a successful line of movies, except the third one, of course. And he had a TV show, which failed. So, having, but then again, that was on, like, one of those TV networks. Now we have Netflix, which could be bloody, which could be gritty, which could be, you can have that horror aspect to it. And Blade is an awesome character. I think Wesley Snipes, when I think of Blade, I think of Wesley Snipes. I think he owned that role so well. 
Would I would I be up to the fact of Wesley Snipes coming back as Blade? Why not? I would like it. I think Wesley Snipes is still you know fit. He still could play this character. I know the stories with Patton Oswalt and all that stuff, and you know the Blade Three and stuff. But he needs work, and I think he appreciates now this character, and he likes what Marvel's doing. So I would love for Wesley Snipes to you know reprise his role as Blade. Is it going to happen? No, because Marvel wants to get far away from there, and they don't need Wesley Snipes, of course. Wesley Snipes needs Marvel more than they need him. So him basically, uh, Blade being having a uh, TV show as well, I, I can see. I, I can see, definitely see that happen as well. And then you have Iron Fist, and you have a lot of... Uh, they even thinking about Black Widow, which I'm getting sick and tired of Black Widow, honestly. I think we need to focus on somebody else. I mean, how about Wasp or something like that? Uh, there's other characters like She-Hulk. She-Hulk would have been sweet too, but you know the CGI and stuff and the production values. Other than that, a lot of things in work for Phase Two, the TV series universe. I want Frank Castle on in Netflix. I think it's a match made in heaven. I don't think anything could. You can't fail at that, honestly. Like they failed in the film, uh, film wise. I think you could only go up with the Punisher TV series. Blade, I think, could definitely work as a TV series. Ghost Rider is a little bit more tricky. And as for Iron Fist, of course, a lot of people want Iron Fist. And um, we'll see how Jessica Jones does. I think it's Jessica Jones, right? I hope I'm right. Jessica Jones. Uh, but Bullseye as well. Jason Statham, I could see it. I like it. Let's do it. And then Electra is supposed to come in on in Season 2. So who's going to be playing her? I like Rosie O'Dawson, like I said, in Season 1. I thought she did a great job. I think that she's called the Night Nurse. They call her the Night Nurse. I think she did a phenomenal job. I liked her as a love interest as well. Um, but Electra coming in, definitely, you know, just Electra has that, you know, prestige. She has that's name recognition right there. So I'm very interested in who they bring on to play Electra. Jennifer Gardner. No, I'm no, just kidding. I'm sorry. Uh, thank you guys for listening. Please subscribe. Please like and comment below. I want to hear you guys' thoughts on the TV universe. I know a lot of people you say uh, people say about the Punisher. You know, you guys are big fans as well on the Punisher and how it should be a TV series or how it should be a film. But you also had those other big names, Ghost Rider and Blade. How do you feel about that? How do you feel about Jason Statham? becoming bullseye I, I maybe i think a lot of fans wouldn't like the idea of him being bullseye but i could see it i, I like it i like the idea uh, so let me know just let me know you guys thoughts please comment below i want to hear everything you guys have to say and please subscribe make videos try to make videos every day like i said got a new casa trying to get the internet rolling uh trying to get this background more badass so thank you guys for listening and i am out